My name is Gavin Evans and this is my ranking of the Aliens franchise. So this is going to include the first four Alien movies, both Alien vs Predator movies and the two Prometheus movies. So it's going to be all eight Alien movies and let's begin with what comes in last place. And this was a first time watch for me but it was Alien 3. I absolutely despise this movie. It's David Fincher's first movie, and when you see the filmography he has after this movie, for him to direct a movie as bad as this for his first one, I it just seems like two completely different directors. Now, I know behind the scenes was a complete nightmare, and it definitely shows in the end result, but still, just every single decision regarding this movie was awful. I knew how this movie began, but I didn't think it would be done as poorly as it was to lack any sort of emotional impact, and to undo the end of Aliens in more way than one. I just couldn't believe how awful the very beginning of this movie was. And it doesn't get any better from that point forward. The CGI in this movie is awful. Like, it's easily the worst looking Alien movie. It's tensionless. It's dull. All the supporting characters were completely forgettable. It's just a movie trying so desperately hard to be an alien movie, but it's just done so ineffectively here, and it's just an awful, awful movie. I absolutely hate it. In seventh place, we get the first Aliens vs. Predator movie, the one set in Antarctica, which I was kind of looking forward to because I feel like that's a different setting for these movies, and I feel like if they took advantage of that, it would have been a really unique feeling movie, but they never do. It feels just as dull and as as generic as you would expect it to. And I think my biggest problem with this movie is its handle of the alien law. The process of how the xenomorphs are formed is sped up to an unbelievable degree that just takes you out of the movie. It just, oh, facehugger goes on someone and then within half hour, there's now a fully formed xenomorph which just goes against everything that's been established up until this point. And all the additional lore and the backstory going on here was just unbelievably dumb. The movie's never tension filled, it's never scary, and it's never interesting. I didn't have a fun time with this movie. There's moments where you could see the potential with this being a dumb, schlocky movie, but for the most part, it's just a dull and generic spin-off that does nothing interesting with this franchise. So that's why it comes in in 7th place. In 6th place, we get Aliens vs Predator 2, Requiem, and this movie is terribly lit. Terribly lit. Like, half the time, you can't even tell what's happening. There's a few action moments, and I'm just like, who's that? What's happening here? Like, I literally couldn't see what was happening on the screen. So, by default, the action's really bad, the dialogue is atrocious, and the writing is bad. But, I do not hate this movie as much as everyone else does. I'm not saying it's a good movie, far from it. It's definitely a bad movie. But the reason why this isn't in last place is because I kind of like the fact that this movie is as cliche as it is. It reminds me of a Friday the 13th movie, but with aliens and predators. You know, you got all the cliche character types. You've got the guy who likes the girl who's dating the bad boy, and the bad boy picks on the main character. I love that whole dynamic. I wish the movie actually had more of that. And also, this movie has some gruesome moments. Like, it crosses some lines that... It didn't bother me too much, but... It's, these moments are definitely existent. So for those reasons, it makes this movie slightly better than the other two, but it's still a really bad movie. In fifth place, we get Alien Covenant. Now, the first time I watched this movie, I was unbelievably disappointed. Like, I think this was my most anticipated movie of 2017, and I hated it the first time I saw it. Now, a few years has passed, and I have rewatched it since, and I do like the movie now. I don't think it's great, it's got issues, but I think this movie works better if you don't view it as an alien prequel, but view it as a mad scientist movie. If you just view this movie as Frankenstein set in space, there's a lot more enjoyment to be had from this movie because my biggest problem with this movie is the alien lore. I don't like the creation of the face huggers and the xenomorphs. I don't need that in my alien movies. That said though, 
the creation of a new alien life form made by a cyborg who has this desperate need to create is beyond fascinating. And I love seeing that. Like, if this movie was just called Covenant and it was about this android creating aliens, like, yes, I'm all for that. But because this movie is an alien prequel, it's just like, I love it, but it annoys me, and oh. But I will say, Michael Fassbender is incredible in this movie as both David and Walter. He also <laughs> goes to some weird territory, which I thought was really unique and interesting. Uh, I think the performances for the most part are pretty good. Danny McBride is great in this movie. I think this movie has a lot to say on creation and how humans create cyborgs and how cyborg creates alien and just how there's a constant need for creation and the relationship between the creator and the creation. And I think this movie goes into some really interesting spots. And I love the way the movie ends. Predictable? Yes. I saw it coming from a mile away, but it's still very haunting. I also say that even though I thought there was some intense moments in the last act, I don't think the xenomorph needed to be in this movie. There's some dumb decisions made. Like, the movie's kicked off by someone not wearing a helmet on an alien planet. And, I don't know, that's a lot of suspension of disbelief. And then, I wish this movie followed up on Prometheus a bit more. But, this movie has got lots of interesting stuff going on. Lots of great elements to it, but it's not a great movie. In fourth place, we've got Alien Resurrection, which was also a fourth time watch for me. And it's a movie that I really dug. I thought this movie was a ton of fun, and it had some really creepy stuff in here. Like that scene where they enter the lab and you can see all the ways they've experimented with humans and aliens and just that kind of stuff really gets under my skin and I thought that was a really effective moment and how that scene plays out was terrifying. You've also got some interesting moments where people are being chased by xenomorphs underwater and that just made this movie feel a bit more fresh. There's also this super over the top death scene at the very end well, this guy has a face hugger coming out of him, and I just thought, like, this is, it, it's awesome. I just realized I said a really over-the-top death scene right at the very end, and people thought I was talking about another death scene, but no, I was talking about the one I mentioned. But speaking of very over-the-top death scene at the very end of this movie, uh, the very over-the-top death scene at the very end of this movie is very over-the-top, and it's at the very end of this movie. But in all seriousness, I love the way this movie ends. Um, that death scene at the end is both incredibly gross, terrifying, and also super sad. So, it just, it, it, it interests me. I think Noe Reeve was good in this movie. It, it doesn't have the best story, it doesn't have the best characters, but just visually and what they try to do to keep this genre of this franchise fresh, Works for me, I have a really great time watching it. In third place, we've got Prometheus. And I'll never forget, when I first saw this movie in theaters in 2012, I was surprised by how much I freaking loved this movie. And that's still the case to this day, because everybody was tearing it apart. They were saying how awful it was. And even in 2012, the Gavin who had really bad movie taste could still see the greatness in this movie, and I still love it to this day. I think visually, it's absolutely beautiful. The visual effects, the production design, the cinematography, it all looks great. I think this movie also has a lot of interesting things to say about creation, and that scene where Michael Fassbender is talking to Logan Marshall Green's character just about why they created him, and he's just like, because we could. And David's just like, could you imagine how disappointing if you get that response from your creator? And it's just one small scene, but oh my goodness, the impact of it is huge. Because they've literally sacrificed their entire life for this mission. And that he just gives the same answer that they're looking for for themselves to their creation like it's nothing. The ideas behind that are just beyond fascinating to me. I, I love this movie. Uh, yes, it kind of gets bogged down by the fact it's an alien prequel. I don't think it needed to be, especially at the very, 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 very end of this movie. And even though I don't think this movie needed to be an alien prequel, just the additional lore that's explored here is just so fascinating. Like, everything with the engineers and how they get their answers and how the ink stuff, 
what that does to Logan Marshall Green's character, what it does to Elizabeth Shaw. Oh my goodness, that C-section scene is absolutely terrifying. But yeah, I, I've i always really loved this movie, and I still really love it to this day. In second place, we've got... Which one is it going to be? It's Alien. Uh, I love this movie a lot. Uh, Signori Weaver is excellent in this movie, and I just love the fact that at the beginning of this movie, she isn't the main character. She only becomes the main character because she's the one with common sense, and she's the one that's doing the right thing throughout. And that's how she becomes the main character. It's like she had to own it, and she totally does. I also thought the rest of the cast was really good. It's got so many iconic images of it. That chest poster scene, the first time I saw it, was just terrifying. It's still effective to this day. The practical effects in this movie are unbelievable. They hold up remarkably well. And I just love the lore that's explored here. Like, everything about it, I absolutely obsessed with. The fact that there's these eggs, and inside there are these eggs, there's a face hugger that goes on people's faces and plants an egg down it. And then it comes up people's chest, and then it grows into this huge menacing xenomorph. And just the design of the xenomorph, it's so unique and terrifying, and I love all that stuff. It's just, this movie just delivers tension-wise, character-wise, story-wise... And then you've also got the additional element of the android that ends up malfunctioning. This movie just has it all. I love it so very much. It's a fantastic sci-fi horror movie. The very best that's ever been made and probably ever will be made. And that's quite the achievement. In first place, it is definitely Aliens. That has always been the case for this franchise with me. This one has always been my favorite and I don't ever see that changing. Everything I just mentioned about the first movie, all the gross and terrifying stuff in it, about the face huggers and the eggs and the xenomorphs, you get that amplified by a hundred here. You get more eggs and more face huggers and more xenomorphs. And you've even got the additional element of a queen xenomorph, which really does add a lot. I just think this movie is terrifying. It builds tension incredibly well. It's got the best batch of supporting characters. Just even the way some of these characters go out, they actually go out in very impactful ways. You've got Newt, which adds a nice emotional core to the movie. You've also got, oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself because I love this movie. I'm looking it up. Our Weisel as Bulk is such a terrific human villain. This movie is just so fantastic in every single possible way. I just love it so very much. But anyways, that is my ranking of the Alien franchise. What's your ranking of the Alien franchise? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.